Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I now give the floor to the Our Education and Human Rights Foundation. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. My name is Karim Abdian, and I'm speaking on behalf of the Ahwazi Arab or Iranian minority group in Iran. Ahwazi Arab minority in Iran suffers from identity a crisis, among other socioeconomic crises. Residing mainly in southwestern Iran, their population is about 5 to 7 million, or 10 percent of the population. The province's name, however, has been changed from Arabistan after 600 years to the Persian name of Khuzestan. This was done to deny the Arab identity. Mr. Chairman, Iran is a very diverse country indeed, where Kurds live in Kurdistan, Baluch live in Baluchistan, Lor in Loristan, Turkmen in Turkestan, and so on. Only Arab province was changed. I wonder why. An enduring solution would be then to change the name to its original, way, uh, n original name if there is any uh, consideration. Arab majority Khuzestan province accounts for 90% of the oil revenue, yet they live, the people live in abject poverty. Ahwazi Arabs have not been allowed to participate in running their own affairs. It does not have local or genuine national representation. It faces a systematic forced assimilation, ethnic cleansing, and confiscation of its land. A legislation to allocate one and a half percent of the oil revenue to the Arab area has been denied repeatedly by the Iranian Majlis or the Parliament. Uh, Arabs and all other non-Persian languages such as Kurdish, Turkish, and Baluchis are banned. They're denying their linguistic rights and their competitiveness. In job markets. Khuzestan political, military, and security commanders, officers, mayors, and all high and mid-level government officials have been consistently appointed from non-Arab uh, groups. Uh, the uh, the uh, Mr. Chairman, I, you can hear me and you can see me. Obviously, I am real. Yet, me and my people have been denied their existence in this booklet that was produced 